I made a speedometer for my wooden car. I did not record the build process, but I'll try to give you a nice little recap. It all started when I was watching some YouTube video about old wooden windmills, and there I learned about the concept of flyball governors. Now, flyball governors are very cool old devices uh, that were mainly used for steam engines to regulate the amount of steam coming into the engine. The way they work is that they can move in a somewhat of a parallelogram fashion, and they have these weights at the ends that create rotational inertia when the whole assembly is spinning and it makes the, makes this thing collapse. And by the amount of movement in this direction, you can determine how fast the shaft is spinning. And finally, you can see this tiny little gear transforms the linear motion of the flyball governor into rotational and makes the speed dial turn. To power the whole system, I'm using the same gear I used for the odometer, uh, running it sideways this way, and turning this gear on the flyball governor. The whole concept is very simple, but finding a way to fit it inside such a tiny space was absolutely the hardest part. You can see this bracket is very oddly shaped. This is because it has a lot of obstacles to clear. So for example, this cut out here is made for this pin to rotate freely. This whole section is cut out for the hydraulic lines of the disc brakes. This is made for the caliper, and this is just kind of for looks. This lack of space made it necessary to make the whole mechanism extremely small. And small mechanisms require a lot more precision to work properly. Now this one lacks precision, which is why it's not very smooth as you can see in the demonstration. Speaking of small, this is definitely the smallest set of gears I have ever made. I made this one on the bandsaw, and this one on the lathe, and it took many hours of adjusting to make them uh, work, let's say, passably well. I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here. Uh, these are the first gears I've ever made, and after making all of them, I gained a little bit of experience and became a bit more confident in making smaller and more precise ones, which was very necessary when making this one because the smaller I could make it, uh, the lighter the steering would feel. So if I could make it even smaller, I could turn the steering wheel even more. You can see right now it turns a little over 360 degrees. So in other words, this was the smallest gear I felt comfortable with making at the time. Funny enough, the new one could easily fit inside the center hole of the previous one. This newfound ability of mine opens up a lot of potential for more efficient and compact designs, and it should also allow me to make things that to me seemed impossible before. Looking at this model with all the experience I've accumulated makes it seem quite uh, primitive and outdated, so I'm currently trying to work on something a lot more advanced. Back to the speedometer, I want to bring you through the last stage of the build process, which is figuring out what numbers I need to put on this dial. I originally wanted to use a strobe light for this, uh, but the quickly draining battery of this car makes that quite difficult. So instead I'll have to use uh, one of the very few things I learned in physics class, which is velocity equals distance divided by time. We have distance here, we have time here. I'll try to keep a consistent speed for about 10 seconds and we'll work with that. By reviewing the footage, I can tell that at the 10 second mark, the odometer is at 722 meters, while at the 20 second mark, it's at 750. 750 minus 722 is 28 meters in 10 seconds, or 2.8 meters a second, or 10.08 kilometers an hour. By my calculations, uh, 10 kilometers an hour is roughly around here, and if this is zero, then this should be approximately 20 
and so on. Here it is fully finished. Obviously this is offensively imprecise, but then again this is technically still just a pile of firewood, so what do you expect? Uh, yeah, I think this deserves one final test run. Before I go, here's a little sneak peek at a valve timing chain for my next uh, V8 engine I'm building. So stay tuned for that. 